This week's episode of Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by H&M Landing has been taking people fishing for over 40 years. From local half-day trips to multi-day offshore tuna trips, H&M Landing is located in San Diego, California. Mustad Fishing Hooks, making fishing hooks for over 100 years. Turner's Outdoorsman, fishing and hunting supply needs. Tough Coat, non-skip coating for fishing vessels and boat docks and by viewers like you. This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Indian. And we're back over at Catalina Island. In last week's episode, you saw us catch a bunch of yellowtail and some big calico bass. Well, this week, the adventure continues at Catalina Island with a lot more yellowtail and some really big monster ones too. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of sport fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Got another calico here. Fishing that bucktail with a strip of squid. Just fishing 20 pound test line. A level wine reel and a graphite rod. Just working it nice and easy, bringing it up. Here he comes right here, color. There we go. This is our captain, Captain David. He got us out today. Started us off on the yellows over at the Farnsworth. Now we're inside here picking away the calicos to give everybody something to do. Yeah. But our goal is what, later on in the day, slide outside again? Yeah, we're gonna slide outside again, see if we can get, get some more yellows. Okay. Really good yellow fishing in the afternoon. So. And uh, since the uh, Indian has moved to Redondo Beach, what's your schedule now? You're running pretty much mornings and uh, we, we full run, day trips? We were running full day trips um, Wednesday through uh, Sunday. Um, 6.30 departure, getting back around 6, 6.30. Around evening. there. Yeah. All right, cool. Depends how the fishing is, but let's get let's this, this guy, one back. guy in the water here. There he goes. We'll get another one. I don't know if he is. I think he is. Skipper made a little move. We're hooking those yellows outside there at Farnsworth. Now we're in really close to the island and the water just kind of drops down just like that cliff is. And I'm fishing a bucktail and we got bit. Fishing a strip of squid on there. Let's see what this is. Pretty sure it's a calico bass. Here he comes, there's color. Little checkerboard. Yep, little bash. I got you, man. 
Thanks. Little calico bass on a bucktail. It's a B-52 bucktail. Just let it fall down there with squid on there. Be a little short. The new rules, they have to be 14, 14 inches. inches. Yeah, he's a little short. It would have been legal about two years ago. All right, let him go. That, that's getting close. Another little calico bass here from Catalina. Caught on a bucktail, a little strip of squid. We'll go ahead and see if this guy's legal. They gotta be 14 inches now. And just barely makes it. So. <laughs> Victor pen. Oh, nice. What's your number? Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh let me grab my phone. Thank you. I don't want to go. Thank you. Nice sheep's head. He's illegal. What was your number? Twelve. Into the sack. Little kid got one right here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> nice bass car and a B-52 bucktail. Today in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing at Catalina Island. We're picking away at these nice yellowtail, a big mix of fish. We got some small fish, 10 pounders. We got some good quality over 30 pounds, really nice big yellowtail. And also mixed in is a lot of calico bass. The other thing we're fighting today is that the live bait we have is huge. We have lots of mackerel and huge sardines. So if you're gonna fish the sardines or the mackerel, doesn't matter if it's for the calico bass or the yellowtail, you really gotta go up in your hook size. You need to use a 4-0 minimum. 5-0 works out really good too on those big yellows. And even the big calico bass, if you're gonna throw a mackerel at them, a good quality mustad hook and 4-5-0 live bait hook will work out good. This one's a 9174 in black nickel, one of my favorite hooks, and catch lots of fish on these. Now, with the calicos, if you wanna go ahead and use a bucktail, you wanna use something like this. You wanna go with the one ounce to two ounce model in this deeper water for these calicos over at the island. And you wanna put on either a whole dead squid or just a slice of squid strip on there. Works out really good. We have some nice big calicos coming on this trip. So you can go ahead and fish the whole squid with the one ounce bucktail and you're gonna catch those fish. So that's the basic gear for what we're doing. Just remember when you're fishing the yellowtail at the Farnsworth with the big bait, and these are big fish. Remember the Farnsworth area, Catalina on the backside, has a lot of structure, lots of rocks, lots of coral. So you gotta fish the heavy line. So fish those big hooks with uh, 4050 mustad hooks and fish 40 and 50 pound mono, and you won't be disappointed. I know it sounds really heavy for fishing Catalina, but when you fish this deep water, lots of structure, you need that heavy line, you need those big mustad hooks, four and five O's, because of the bait, and you're gonna catch those nice fish. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Hey, he's not that big. Probably legal. Probably. <laughs> I got you legal. We'll let you keep that one there. Okay. <laughs> You're close. Oh, the bucket came off. <laughs> oh, look at that. Good. That's calico. Oh. Ah, yeah. Hard. Hard to do. Hard. That's, that's hard. That's not hooked in the mouth. You got to let it go. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> My sack. 
We just made a move and we're on the west end of the island. And this is the first yellow we hooked at the spot. We have another one going too. Andrew's got one over here on the bow. the galley we're in La Jolla California at Catania standing next to me is chef Ryan he's gonna be doing a dish for us and hey chef thanks for inviting us over of course and what do you have in store for us today uh, we are gonna do a yellowtail crudo dish that we do across the street at whisk and ladle and what does crudo stand for? crudo uh, means raw in Italian so it's essentially sushi but not Italian, Italian style right all right cool how do we get started chef? all right so the yellowtail that we cut earlier we have this beautiful piece of center cut yellowtail loin so we'll start off slicing five very thin pieces out of here. Crudo dishes are all about simplicity. So we're gonna use one ingredient three or four different ways. The ingredient I chose today was oranges. So basically we have blood orange segments, blood orange vinaigrette, an orange gel, and we're gonna add some texture with a little bit of pomegranate seed. First we will garnish the plate. What is this again? This is blood orange vinaigrette. Okay. Next we'll go down with our fish. So this is basically Italian sushi style? Yeah, we could call it that. Next I'll move on to blood orange segments. Adds a nice acid to the dish. No real method to the madness. Controlled chaos is kind of what I like to call it. Now comes the pomegranate for some texture. We have orange in our third manner, which is orange gel. I like to finish kudos with olive oil. And always a good amount of Florida cell, which is sea salt. For a nice floral element, we use fennel fronds. Oh, well, Chef Ryan, this looks delicious, but I have to try it out. So, I'm gonna try, I'll try a big chunky one. Piece of orange. That's so different. Different. Totally different. With that sea salt is so, you know, you feel that really strong. Taste the orange. When I think of raw fish, I always think of sushi. Yeah. And this is so different than the 
whole really strong wasabi flavor and all that. It's really nice. It's really delicious. Yeah, it is. It's really good. It's a different type of yellowtail I've never had before. I hope you like it. I, really, I do. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chef. Thank you a lot. It's really good. For more information, you can go to their website. It's Catania in La Jolla, California. And come see Chef Ryan. You're, you're across the street. street at Whiskey and Ladle. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. There's another one, fresh one. Right here, two in the corner. Wide, 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 wide. Oh. Start stepping to your right, Elsa. Good job, guys. One more wine. There it is. Ah. I just wanted to put it here. There's the beef. Oh my god, that's number two. Number two? Number two? Number two. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Good job. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yellowtail can be found in a wide range, as far north as British Columbia and down south into Chile. We usually find good numbers of them from Point Conception down into the Baja waters. They can grow up to 100 pounds and they feed on a variety of bait fish, including sardines, mackerel, and even like squids and shrimps too. They're one of the most popular game fish in all of California. Wow, that's a big one. Big one. Oh! Oh! Gee! There you go, David. Thank you. Love, he's a bleeder. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right. On the board. Nice one. Another yellow toe hits the deck. How's your line looking? You almost up to the top? Yeah. Oh, I see the Whoa! There you go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I missed him. You like this? Keep his head in the water. Keep his head in the water. Keep his head in the water. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Woo. Nice fish. There he is. Straight up to the bow, all the way to the front. Stay right there. Don't pull his head out of the water. Nice and easy. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Good deal, buddy. Look at that, right there. You waited all day for this all thing. All day.
Andrew. Andrew, one of our regulars out here with his dad today. Had another nice yellow. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Uh, he was out on our last trip on a different boat. Had his very first Dorado. He's caught yellows before. He fishes a lot with his dad, but it's a nice quality fish. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action here aboard the Indian. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Nice job. Thanks. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we caught the fish today. Fishing all those yellowtail that we had early in the morning and then again at the end of the day was all about live bait. Large live mackerels and large live sardines. And because of that, you had to fish heavy lines. Nothing lighter than 30 and 40 pound worked even better. A lot of the fish today were caught on 40. That's this week's tip. When you get on a bite like this, fishing around big pentacles that come right out of the ocean bottom, there's a lot of sharp coral and rocks on that. You gotta fish the heavier line. If you try to fish 20 or 25 pound, you just got busted off. You're never gonna land those fish. And the people that caught fish today, the guys and the women, they were all fishing 30 and 40 pound test line using big hooks too. Lots of hooks out there. Those must add 94151s worked really good today. But you need a good quality big hook. 40 and 50 hooks is all we use today. Well, if you'd like to join us on a trip like this, please visit our website, look at our fishing trips, and pick when you want to join us. All the people you saw today, not professional anglers, just viewers like you that enjoy our TV show and want to come out and participate and be with us. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter too. Well, I want to thank the whole crew of the Indian, Captain David, did a great time, put us on those fish. It was a lot of fun. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. This week's episode of Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by H&M Landing has been taking people fishing for over 40 years. From local half-day trips to multi-day offshore tuna trips, H&M Landing is located in San Diego, California. Mustad Fishing Hooks, making fishing hooks for over 100 years. Turner's Outdoorsman, fishing and hunting supply needs. Tough Coat, non-skip coating for fishing vessels and boat docks and by viewers like you.